Hi, this is Rustin Prodos Expert, and I want to show you Final Plug from Wave Arts. It's a really cool look ahead peak limiter, which has two main uses. One of them is to protect from peaking, and that can be useful on your subs or at any point within a, a, a gain staging situation within a mix. The second one, of course, is when you're mastering and you want to get it ready for CD or for DVD. And this ticks all those boxes. Uh, furthermore, it works up to 96K for DVD. And it also offers multiple options for truncation and dithering as well with multiple shapes. And we'll look at that in a while, and different bit rates. So basically what you have is you have a threshold and then a ceiling, uh, a release switch is automatic or manual, a attenuation meter, and then this, in, this uh, dither section with a truncation, different bit rates and stuff that you can then audition. And you can then A, B against them as well. So uh, the first use I want to show you on it actually is on a bus. Uh, so I've got uh, basically two tracks doing the same thing. And then I've put it here on a bus. So I've got these coming out to the same bus, bus 11. Then I've got the final plug across that. And what that means is, for example, if you've got a lot of drums going out to a drum bus or a lot of instruments like vocals or, or guitars and stuff going to a bus, then the more you add into it, of course, the more there's the danger of getting clipping on the bus. And so what you can use, I want to show you with this, just a simple example, if we go to this track here and I start playing this now and I've got this set up and what I've done is I've set it so the threshold is still at zero. So it's not doing any kind of compression really, a little bit if you wanted to, about 1.4 dB. Then I've set my ceiling to minus six, which effectively means, being the look ahead uh, peak limiter, it's not going to allow the audio to go past the minus six dB mark, which is very helpful. It means that you keep uh, your buses all nice and clean. So if I play this track, so at the moment it's not peaking, so it's not really doing any work on that bus. But if I add a second. So I've got a second version of the same track, and as you can see now, it's clipping uh, over 3 dB worth of clipping. What it's also doing, though, is it's then attenuating that. And making sure that this bus now, if you see, see the dynamics going on in the bus there if you're using Pro Tools 11. At minus 6 dB, it's not exceeding that because that's the threshold I've set. Now I could make it minus 3 dB and have less uh, of uh, about there. Now that's protecting the bus from doing that. So it's very helpful for that. Of course, we wouldn't have the dither on there. We'd probably just have the, the uh, limiter enabled. And then you can either let it do it. I found that the auto release is very, very good. Uh, you can go in and do it yourself if you want and try that instead. Very slow there, very fast. But I'm finding the auto release is very transparent. If we turn that off, you hear the difference. It's quite quite serious. I'll turn it back down again so we don't all blow it, all the speakers up and bypass it. But you can see there's a, quite an increase in volume there. But pretty transparent. There's no really pumping artifacts, which you would often expect in a peak limiter at some point. And even down at minus 6 dB, even 12 dB, we'll try that. It's still pretty clean. You can hear that changing the difference there. So that's one use for it, but that's not normally the use, but it can be used for that. So we're going to take that out of there altogether. We'll take the insert out. And we're going to come to the other use for it, of course, which is, uh, I'm just going to mute that out as well, is using it as a uh, peak limiter on our master bus when we come to mix a track uh, ready for CD or DVD. So again, we can then increase volume and make sure that the ceiling uh, is, is pulled down. So basically, as we increase the threshold there, we can pull the ceiling down. If you use Maxim or any other stuff like the C1 compressors and stuff, that's exactly. So they become loudness maximizers. And of course, in the loudness wars, it's become a very common thing. But this is a very clean one. It's DSP or native. And so very good 
for both kinds of Pro Tools users. So let me try on a, a number of tracks. I'm going to do this one first bit of jazz piano. And then as I say, we've got the ceiling here. So we've got some loud, loudness maximization going on there. Push that even higher. There's the attenuation there. Just a little bit. So significant. Now, of course, what's interesting now is we can actually increase the volume, but, but reduce the peaks. So... about minus 4.2. Turn that back off again. Minus 2 now. This is very clean. This dithering section where we can we can try different bit rates and we get different shapes as well based upon some of the wave stuff like the C ones and the C twos and some of the apogee stuff as well. So they these have been based on those and then we can audition them. So and then ninety six k shapes as well for DVD. So let's try a few. We can mute the dither as well. Manual, there's a full description of how the dithering and, and, sh and truncation shapes in, in, in each one. Set this to 24 bit if we want. audition those as well. You can even download this as a demo uh, if you want to try it before you buy it. Here is on classic stuff then. <laughs> So having this ability to A-B is really nice. And as I say, as this goes to the end here, you can see the peaks, it's, it's rising up here. So you can see it's very, very clean. Let's try this third one. Let's say you can really pull it in a bit and it, it really uh, is very, very clean and transparent. Really smooth out. You can hear as the guitars are going down on the downbeat with the brass. It's really peaking, but this is really smoothing it out. Second riff. Let's put it back in without out now, so about here. On that second beat of each bar, it's good. Damn, bap, and they're really peaking. Getting dangerously high. Put this back in though. It's 
So lovely and clean. Let's try it on a, a bit of dance stuff. So that's 16 bit. Let's go to 24 bit again. Dither's back in now. And again, you can audition them, which is really nice. So there we are, pretty straightforward. Check it out, try the demo, and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.